Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the binary practice questions in Corporate Maths. If you need any extra help in binary, go to corporatemaths.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video 398, and that's the video tutorial in binary. Okay, let's have a look at question one. Question one says, write the binary number 101 as a decimal number. So like we use columns to help with place value, I'm going to write down columns to help with changing this binary number into a decimal number. So we're going to start off with 1, and then multiply by 2 is 2, and multiply by 2 is 4. And let's turn this into a little table with our columns, and we've got the number 101, so we're going to write 101. So we've got 1, 1, we've got no 2s, and we've got 1, 4. So if we do 4 plus 1, we will work out what the number 101 is as a decimal number. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So the binary number 101 as a decimal number is 5. Okay, let's have a look at question 2. So again, writing down our columns, start with 1, multiply by 2 is 2, multiply by 2 is 4, and multiply by 2 is 8. And we'll do our columns like so, and we've got the number 1010. So we've got no 1s, we've got 1, 2, we've got no 4s, and we've got 1, 8. So we've got an 8 and a 2, so we'll do 8 plus 2, and that's equal to 10. So the number, the binary number, 1010 as a decimal number, is 10. Okay, question 3. So again, doing our columns, start off with 1, multiply by 2 is 2, multiply by 2 is 4, multiply by 2 is 8. We've got our four columns. And let's write our numbers in. So we've got 1, 1, 0, 0. So we've got no 1s, we've got no 2s, we've got 1, 4, and 1, 8. So we're going to do 8 plus 4, and 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. And so the binary number, 1, 1, 0, 0, in decimal form, is 12. Okay, let's have a look at question 4. So question 4 says, write the binary number 1, 0, 1, 1, in decimal form. So again, write in our columns, we've got 1, multiply by 2 is 2, multiply by 2 is 4, and multiply by 2 is 8. And put our columns in. So we've got 1, 0, 1, 1. So we've got 1, 1, 1, 2, no 4s, and 1, 8. So if we do 8 plus 2 plus 1, we'll find our number. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So the binary number, 1, 0, 1, 1, in decimal form, is 11. Okay, let's have a look at question 5. So in question 5, we've been asked to write the decimal number 4 as a binary number. So let's write our table again. So we'll start off with 1, and then multiply by 2 is 2, and multiply by 2 is 4. So we write the number 4 in binary form. So that's enough columns. So we've got 4, 2, and 1. And to write the number 4 in binary, well, we would use 1, 4. And then that's 4, so we don't need any 2s or any 1s. So our number would be 1, 0, 0. So the number 4 in binary would be 1, 0, 0. So question 6 says, write the number 9 as a binary number. So again, start off with our columns, we'll start with 1, multiply by 2 is 2, multiply by 2 is 4, multiply by 2 is 8. Now, multiply by 2 would be 16, well, that's going to be too big, so we, we don't need to go that far. So those are our columns. And to get the number 9, well, working from left to right, we could use an 8, so that's 8. We don't need then any 4s, because that would be too big, that would be 12. We don't need any 2s, again, that would be 10, which is too big, but we need 1, 1. So 1, 8 and 1, 1, that would be 9, so that would be 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, question 7. Question 7 says, write the number 13 as a binary number. So again, starting with 1, multiply by 2 is 2, multiply by 2 is 4, multiply by 2 is 8, and then multiply by 2 would be 16, which is too big, so we've got the columns we need. And then we want to write 13 as a binary number, so that would be 1, 8. And then if we had a 4, that would be 12, so that would be good, yep. Yeah. So that would be 8 and 4, that's 12. We then don't need any 2s because that would be too big because that would then be 14, so we don't need any 2s. But we're at 12, we need a 1, so it's going to be a 1 there. So, so we've got 1, 8, 1, 4, no 2s, and 1, 1. And 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So the number 13 as a binary number would be 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, question 8. Question 8 says, write the decimal number 14 as a binary number. So again, start with 1, multiply by 2 is 2, and then 4 and then 8, and 16 would be too big. So then put our columns in. So to get the number 14, well, that could be an 8, and then a 4, that's 12, and then a 2, that's 14, that's fantastic. And then we don't need any 1, so that's 0. So the number 14 as a binary number would be 1, 1, 1, 0. That's 8 plus 4, which is 12, plus 2, which is equal to 14, and then plus no 1s, which is then equal to 14. So the number 14 as a binary number would be 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, question number nine. 
Question number nine, this time we've been asked to write the binary number 11010 zero, zero, as a decimal number. So we've got our one multiplied by two is two, multiplied by two is four, eight, 16. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and our number has one, two, three, four, five digits, so that's great. So let's put our numbers in. So we had a one, one, zero, one, zero. So then if we add 16, eight and two, we'll find out what this number is as a decimal number. So 16 plus eight is 24, plus two is equal to 26. So that would be 26. Okay, question number 10. Question number 10 says write the binary number 101111 as a decimal number. So again, putting in our columns, we've got one, then two, and then four, then eight, and 16, so it's one, two, three, four, five. This number is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to multiply by two again, that's 32. So that's the columns we need. And then putting in our numbers, we've got one, zero, one, 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 one. So if we do 32, add eight, which is 40, plus four, which is equal to 44, plus two, which is equal to 46, plus one is equal to 47. That means that the binary number 101111 would be 47. Okay, let's have a look at question 11. Okay, so question 11 says, write the binary number 1101010 in decimal form. So again, let's start off with our columns. We've got one times by two, two times by two, four, eight, 16, 32. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. So we need one more, 64, because 32 times two is 64. And then putting in our columns, and excuse the tidiness here. Uh, so one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. So we want to work out what this number is. So we're going to do 64 plus 32. That's equal to 96 plus eight. That's going to be equal to 104 plus two is equal to 106. So that means that the number one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero would be 106 by adding up 64 32, 8, and 2. Okay, so question 12. Question 12 asks us to write the binary number 1011010 in decimal form. So again, putting in our columns 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Let's check that's enough. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, perfect. And again, excuse the tidiness here. Sorry. So we've got 1, 0, 1, one zero one zero. So to work out what this binary number would be in decimal form, we need to add together 64, 16, 8 and 2. So 64 plus 16 is equal to 80, plus 8 would be equal to 88, plus 2 would be equal to 90. So the number 10, the binary number 10, one zero one one zero one zero in decimal form would be 90. Okay, let's have a look at question 13. Question 13 asks us to write the decimal number 40 as a binary number. So starting off with our columns, we've got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. We're not going to go up to 64 because that would be too big. And we want to get 40, so that would be 32. Now if we had 16, well 32 plus 16 would be too big. That would be larger than 40, so no. And then if we had an 8, well 32 plus 8 is 40. So that's actually going to be our number. One zero one zero zero zero. So one zero one zero 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 would be forty. Okay, let's have a look at question fourteen. Question fourteen says write fifty five as a binary number. Again, let's write our columns one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty two. We don't want to go up to sixty four because that would be too big. I'm putting in our columns. So fifty five, well that would be a thirty two. If we had a 16, well, 32 plus 16 is 48. So, yep, that would work. And then that's equal to 48. If we added 8, that would be 56. That would be too big, so 0. Now, we've got 48 plus 4 would be 52. Plus 2 would be equal to 54. Plus 1 would be equal to 55. And let's just check that. 32 plus 16 is 48. Plus 2 is 52. 54, 55. So 55 as a binary number would be 110111. Okay, let's have a look at question 15. Question 15 asks us to write the decimal number 62 as a binary number. So it's going to be, let's do our columns, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And 64 would be too big, so we'll stop there. We'll put our columns in. And we want to make 62. So it's going to be 32. 
and we can add 16, that would be 48. And then we can add an eight, well that would be equal to 56. And then we could add a four, that would be equal to 60. And then we could add a two, that's 62. And that means we don't need a one. So the answer would be one, 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 zero. So one, 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 zero would be equal to 62 as a binary number. So question 16 asks us to write 93 as a binary number. So let's write our columns, one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, multiplying by two. Now 128 would be too big, so we've gone far enough. We can then put our columns in. And so we need a 64. Now if we had a 32, that would be 96, that's too big, so we, so we can't use a 32. We're gonna use a 16, that would make 80, because 64 plus 16 is 80. And an eight, that'd be 88. And then a four, that'll be 92. We don't need a two, we need a one, so then it'll be zero, one. So 93 is a binary number, it would be 64 plus 16 plus eight plus four plus one, and that would be equal to 93. So our binary number would be one, zero, one, 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 zero, one. Okay, let's have a look at question 17. So question 17 says, Georgina is trying to write the number 28 as a binary number. And this is her table, and she's got 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, and she's got 1, 1, 0, 1, 2. And her answer is 1, 1, 0, 1, 2. Now, first of all, we know, because it's got the digit 2, we know it's not in binary. So explain why Georgina must be wrong. So digit 2 is not used in binary. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at part B. So part B says, what's the correct answer? So we're trying to write 28 as a binary number. So 28, well, let's write our columns. 1, 2, 4, 8. 16. Now for 28, we don't need to go further, so we don't need 32. So let's put our columns in. And that would be, well, we would use 16, excuse the, the diagram. So we'd use a 16. And then if we had an 8, that would be 24. And then if we used a 4, that would be 28. That's fantastic. And then we don't need any 2s or 1s. So 28 is a binary number. Well, we would use 16 and 8, which is 24, plus 4, which is equal to 28. So it would be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, and our last question, question 18. So question 18 says, Maria is trying to write the number 40 as a binary number. So Maria's made this table. She's got 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2. Well, actually, she needs a 1 as well. There should be a column for 1. And it says that her answer is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And it says, explain the mistake that Maria has made. So the mistake is, um, Maria has not included a column for one and that's it and part b and part b says what's the correct answer so if we have a look at our question again we're trying to write 40 as a binary number now looking at it if she had a column for one so let's just have a look and see if the rest of her workings were correct so one two four eight sixteen thirty two they would be the correct headings the, the correct columns and so to make 40, she would use a 32, which is right. She wouldn't use a 16, that would be too big. And an eight, well that makes 40, so zero, zero, zero. So it actually just needs a zero on the end. So the answer would be one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And that's it. So I really hope you find these video solutions useful for the binary questions. If you need any extra help in binary, remember you can go to corporatemiles.com forward slash contents or to the main videos and worksheets section on the website. Scroll down to 398 and that's a video tutorial on binary. Again, I really, really hope you find this video useful. If you have, please like it, please subscribe to the channel and thanks very much.